Hello children, welcome to my channel Quick Learn with Vijisha. Today we will see class 7 practice set 34. Questions are given as to subtract the second expression from the first. So today I will let you know to do both in horizontal and in vertical way in the same video. So let's see the first sum. First question is given as 4xy minus 9z. And second is 3xy minus 16z. Here we have to do the subtraction of polynomials. So let's see how to do this. So we, we will write 4xy minus 9z. This is your first expression. Instead of colon we will put a minus. Now children it is different from addition of polynomials. In addition we have done directly. But in subtraction one thing you have to remember. The signs will get changed. We will see how it, it will be changed. Minus 3xy we will write. Now instead of this minus, minus opposite sign is plus. So we will put directly a plus. Understanding children? Now your expression is completed. We will, so, we will put the variables together. What are variables? Here xy and xy. These variables has to be written together. So how you will write? 4xy with the sign it is minus 3xy understanding children and next variable is minus 9z and plus 16z is your next term so we what we have done we have written the variables together now we will see how to solve this this is up uh, this is one common variable and this is the second one so we will solve it with signs don't forget the signs also so 4 minus 3 will give you the answer as 1xy now minus 9, don't forget the sign, minus 9 plus 16 will give you the answer as minus and plus. We have already learned about signs, then also we will do a revision. Minus and plus means what we have to do, we have to do the subtraction, opposite signs are there. So we will subtract 16 minus 9 will give you the answer as 7 and greater number is 16. So it has a sign as plus. Understanding children? And what is the variable in this? Z xy plus 7z is your answer this we have done it in horizontal way let's see the vertical method for the same question so before going into the next question don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends also and subscribe my channel students so let's see how to do it in vertical method vertically means standing position so question we will write it directly question is given as 4xy minus 9z you have to do the subtraction so we will put a subtraction sign and the next term is 3xy minus 16z so this way you have written vertically now we'll see how. while doing the subtraction the signs will get changed we have already learned so this 3 has a plus sign so it will become a minus so we will put here minus and this minus sign will become plus. Signs are been changed. Means opposite signs we will be using. Now we have to take the new signs. What is the new signs in this? 4 minus 3. Understanding children? So 4 minus 3 will give you the answer as 1. And what is the variable in this? XY. Understanding children? Same way this minus 9. And what is the new sign for 16? It is plus. Understanding children? So this gives you the answer as plus 7. So the answer will be plus 7z. So for horizontal method and vertical method the answers should be same. Understanding children? Let's see the second question. 5x plus 4y plus 7z. Instead of colon I will put directly a subtraction and x we will put this in bracket so we will clear the confusion plus 2y plus 3z so this is your question we have put the second term in bracket now we will open the bracket this will give you as 5x for plus 4y plus 7z the first term is to be written same now we will put minus x 
this plus means the opposite sign is minus understanding children so we will write minus 2y instead of plus again we will write minus 3z hope you are understanding children if you find any difficulty you can write me in the comment box now we will put the variables together 5x and minus x we will write it together plus 4y minus 2y we will write that also together plus 4y minus 2y and plus 7z minus 3z plus 7z minus 3z understanding children variables are been written together you can skip this step also you can directly solve if you are well versed with this type of sums but this will help you so we have written all the variables together now we will solve it 5 minus x means nothing is there means what is the variable uh, what is the number it will considered as 1 so 5 minus 1 will give you the answer as 4x don't forget the signs also plus 4 minus 2 will give you the answer as plus 2y plus 7 minus 3 will give you the answer as plus 4 set understanding children same sum we will solve it in vertical method 5x plus 4y plus 7z we have to subtract x plus 2y plus 3z we have written the questions we have to change the signs also so here nothing is there means it is addition we will put a subtraction plus will become minus and this plus also will become minus understanding children now here nothing variable is there means we have learned that it will be 1 what is the number in this 5 minus 1 will give you the answer as 4x variable now coming for the next plus 4 you have and consider the new sign for 2 that is minus 2 understanding children so plus 4 minus 2 will give you the answer as plus 2y next number is plus 7 minus 3 will give you the answer as plus 4z you are getting the same answers for horizontal and vertical understanding children we will see the third question we will be solving each and every sum in this question so stay tuned in this video third question we will write as 14x square plus 8xy now we will write directly in this question without using a bracket how i will tell you 26 is the next number so minus 26 x square understanding children minus 8 x y is there so minus will become plus so how we will write that plus 8 x y i am writing it directly minus 17 will become plus 17 so we have skipped one step so if you are well versed you can skip the step uh, skip the step otherwise you can uh, write that one step also using that bracket understanding children now we'll see we will write all the variables together 14 x square and minus 26 x square we have written together next variable is plus 8 x y plus 8 x y so we will write plus 8 x y plus 8 x y next is plus 3 y square plus 17 y square plus 3y square plus 17y square now we will solve the sums 14 minus 26 will give you the answer as 26 minus 14 you have to do reverse you have to do will give you the answer as 12 and greater number is minus 26 so we will put a minus and variable as x square understanding children next is plus 8xy plus 8xy will give you the answer as plus 16xy and next is plus 3 plus 17 will give you the answer as plus 20 y square. Hope you are understanding the concept students. We will see the same sum in vertical method. 14 x square plus 8 x y plus 3 y square. We have to subtract it. We will write the next term 26 x square minus 8xy minus 17y square don't forget to change the signs as it is a subtraction question 26 so it will become minus 26 minus 8 will become plus 8 understanding children and minus 17 will become plus 17 so here also 7 14 
minus 26 will give you the answer as minus 12 x square understanding children here plus 8 and plus 8 the new sign we have to take plus 8 plus 8 will give you the answer as plus 16 x y and plus 3 plus 17 will give you the answer as plus 20 y square i hope you are understanding the concept students we will see the fourth sum 6x square plus 7xy plus 16y square. No need to change the first term signs. We will change for the second term only. So it will become minus 16x square and minus 17xy. It will become plus 17xy. Understanding children? Uh, we will write the variables together 6x square and minus 16x square. So we will write as 6x square minus 16x square. Next is plus 7xy plus 17xy. Plus 7xy plus 17xy. And for y square no terms are there. So we will write it single plus 16y square. Understanding children? Now coming for 6 minus 16. We will give you the answer as minus 10x square. Plus 7 plus 17 will give you the answer as plus 24 xy and for 16 y square no variables are no terms are there so we will write it alone that is plus 16 y square. Understanding children we will solve it in horizontal way 6 x square plus 7 x plus 16 y square it is to be written we have to subtract the second term 16 x square so we will write here 16 x square minus 17 x square for y square no terms are there so no need to write anything under it we will change the signs it will become minus and this will become plus understanding children so 6 minus 16 will give you the answer as minus 10 x square understanding children plus 7 plus 17 the new sign you have to take always i am telling the same thing plus 7 plus 17 will give you the answer as plus 24 xy and last term is plus 16 y square understanding children we will move on to the last question in this problem set 4x plus 16z we will write directly the second term minus 19y Minus 14 will become plus 14. Understanding children? 14z and plus 16 will become minus 16x. I hope you are understanding. We will see the terms together. 4x minus 16x. 4x minus 16x. After x, y terms come. So we will write the y term. Understanding children? Remember the alphabet orders also. Minus 19y plus 16 plus 14. So we will write the last terms. Plus 16z plus 14z. 4 minus 16. We will give you the answer as minus 12x. Next is y term. It is sing alone. So we will write minus 19y. And z terms are together. So, plus 16 plus 14 will give you the answer as plus 30z. So, we will see the same sum in vertical. We will see the same sum in vertical method. Before doing it in vertical way, there is no y term in the question. We have seen. So, we will write 4x. We will consider one y term that is 0y. You need to take 0 not 1. Plus 16z. Minus 19y so we will write under y term 19y minus 14z so it will come under z understanding children plus 16x so we will write this side plus 16 we have to do the subtraction so don't forget to change the signs so plus 16 will become minus minus uh, this is plus so plus will become minus and minus will become plus understanding children so 4 minus 16 will give you the answer as minus 12x. Here it will come as minus 19 plus 0 minus 19 will give you the answer as minus 19y. And plus 16 plus 14 will give you the answer as plus 30 set. So this way we have done with practice set 34. 
do check for practice set 33 also in that we have done addition of polynomials so thanks for watching this video and share it with your friends also thank you students